Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and today we are going to look at how to make these awesome uh, do-it-yourself lightsabers. So these are great fun little activities for kids. It's easy for kids to do while they learn about circuits, and it's pretty much all sourced from your house. So the first thing you'll need is our instructions that are online. So those will come with your download kit that you have. And so you'll also need some popsicle sticks, an LED, a battery, some copper tape, a glue stick, and electrical tape. So the things you might not have at home are the battery. This is just sort of a battery that's in the car alarm on your keys. So you can get these pretty easily at sort of an Ace Hardware Home Depot type of a store. And also copper tape. This just so happens to be widely used in gardening because slugs won't cross copper. So you can usually find this at your gardening store. Now, with our popsicle sticks, this is going to be the handle of our lightsaber. And if you want to, when you're done, you can sort of cover it in some fun paper. But this makes up the bulk of the handle. Now, there's three popsicle sticks, and each one does a specific job. We're going to have one that's a switch so that it lets me close it. So here's my switch piece. There's a gap between those wires, and when I close the gap, my lightsaber turns on. There's going to be one that is just a long conducting piece, and then there's going to be one in the middle. So for the switch, what you're going to want to do is take a little piece of copper tape and you're going to wrap it around your popsicle stick right where you want that switch to be. So if you want a really high switch or a low switch, now is sort of the time to plan it. So you're going to wrap a piece of tape all the way around your popsicle stick. And then you're going to have to do that again. So we're going to have two rings around our popsicle stick. So here comes our second one. And so now, when these two pieces of copper tape are, when we um, put something conducting across them, it'll make a long line that continues all the way up my popsicle stick. And to do that, we have to add in our long line. So we're going to go from one side of the, one of the things, the pieces that go all the way around, all the way to the bottom. So like this. And then we're going to go from this side all the way to the top. I don't need quite as much for that piece. So this will go to the top piece. And now you can see that if I were to connect these two pieces, I would have a long line that went all the way across. The handy thing is, is I can now connect them on this side if I want to. So that's why my switch looks so nice. Now, the next piece is the one that's just conducting all the way down. So all I need for that is a long strip of copper tape that goes from the top to the bottom of my stick. Let's get this off. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to peel this copper tape. So we'll put this down here, and it's going to go from the top all the way down to the bottom, like this. So there's nothing super special or fancy about this one. And this guy is just sort of a plain popsicle stick. What we are going to do is we're going to cut a piece of it off, and that is going to be where we can sort of slide our battery in. So we're going to cut a little piece of this off so that we have a short stick too. All right. And now we're just going to wire up our LED. So I have the LED. Now, at this moment, it doesn't actually matter where the long or the short leg goes, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to tape the long leg to this side, and I'll tape the short leg to the other side. And the nice thing is you just literally tape it down with copper tape. And that will be enough to complete your circuit for this. We do want all of the sort of wired pieces of these popsicle sticks to sort of face inwards. So sort of think about that as you're trying to do this. It makes it a little bit trickier, but it makes the end result a lot nicer. So we'll tape this guy down just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other piece. So I need another little piece of tape and I'll tape the other leg of my LED down there. Alrighty. I like to put the tape on first onto the leg. I find that's a little easier. And then onto the popsicle stick. And so then this will go here. 
just like this. All right, so now I have these two guys and they're hooked up in the middle and we're gonna slide this popsicle stick that has no tape on it all the way up here. And so now I can sort of press all of my sticks together and nothing is gonna be touching, which is pretty handy. And then we need to add in our battery. So there's two directions that you can add in your battery. This first direction, it did not light my LED. So I'm gonna switch it. That didn't light it either. Let's see. My LED might be dead. So let's try a different LED. I wanted a red one, but it looks like we'll maybe do blue. So, and this is a good thing, you know, it's sort of usually one of my big checks is always to check that my LED is working which I didn't quite do. But I can just pop the LED out and the, the tape stuck, so I can just sort of slide it in like this, which is kind of handy. So we'll slide that piece in. And these sorts of things happen all the time with science. You're always gonna find a spot where it doesn't work quite as expected, and you'll have to go back and try again. So don't get discouraged if it doesn't work out the first time. Alrighty, so, oh, I know why it wasn't working silly me. We have a gap in our circuit, don't we? We are going to close our circuit. I have a little binder clip. This is pretty essential because remember we have that switch and it's not on, but if I close it, it will go on. So now I have this in there. I like to keep my little binder clip on as I tape the um, battery in. So just in case if I somehow get the battery to make bad contact as I'm taping it, I maybe wiggle it around the wrong way then I'll know immediately and I won't get it all the way taped in and find out it doesn't work. So now we're just gonna wrap some electrical tape around my battery. So this is what's gonna keep my battery in. Just like this. And you can make it go in all sorts of different directions. All right, so I've got that part which is good. And now I should make my switch because I don't want to always have to have these two pieces. The way that I made my switch was I actually put a little piece of electrical tape onto foil and then I cut the foil out and that's going to be my switch. Now the, the reason why we have the electrical tape on there is so that it's a little stronger. Foil can rip really easily and we don't really want it to rip every time we're playing with it. So you can add that electrical tape and it will give it a lot of good sort of extra oomph. And of course, you can cut it to sort of whatever size you want it to be. I'm gonna make mine a little smaller. Make sure that it works before you put it all the way on. So there's a check, it works. I always like to check all of my circuits all of the time because sometimes it might be something pretty simple like earlier when I forgot to close the switch. Sometimes it might be something a little bit more difficult. And so if you know that it's sort of coming, then you can take care of it. And that's always important. You don't wanna be make the whole thing and get caught off guard at the very end. All right, so there is my switch. And now we need to make this into an actual lightsaber. The way that I did that is sort of fun. It's just, a glue stick. Now this is a mini glue stick. There's two types of mini glue stick. One that's sort of white and one that's pretty clear. You want to use the clear ones if at all possible. And the way that we're going to attach this to our LED is we're actually going to take a hot glue gun and stick it into the end of the glue stick. And so it's going to go in just a little bit. And that's sort of the spot where my LED is going to go. And so then I'm going to squish my LED up there. Now it's not going to squish all the way in. And that's fine because we're going to add in a bunch of glue sort of around the bottom, the base of it, and you can also add tape around the base of it to make it more, more stable. So here I can just add glue to right here. You can do it in little rings if you want to. You can also, like I said, tape works really, really well for that part. I like to sort of glue the top and the bottom and then use some tape. Put a little piece of tape right here. And we will wrap it around. 
Now once you have this part made, the next part is to just decorate it however you want to decorate it. We use little pieces of paper um, to do it. And there we go. Um, so you'll see in our finished product we use some paper to sort of decorate the handle of it. You can do sort of anything you want. Whatever color LED you choose is the type of lightsaber you will have. So this one I used a flashing rainbow LED and this one's just a plain blue LED. And you can see they're kind of both fun in their own respect. If you have a kid who loves pink and purple, you can get pink and purple LEDs. My littlest one has a pink lightsaber. She loves it. So this is how we make these lightsabers. They're super easy to do, lots of fun, and they're a great project, afternoon project you can do with your kids. Thanks for following Rosie Research. We hope you're having fun with our Squishy Circuit Lab and also all of the great add-ons that we have, like the lightsabers. You can find all of our fun projects that we're doing on Instagram and Facebook, so follow us there. And you can also become part of our tribe by joining us on Patreon, and that's where you can get all the labs and downloads.